I'm Katie Legrone in Tampa, where the interim president of the New College of Florida spoke to about 130 people Friday afternoon, answering a number of questions. Most of them focus on the state's hostile takeover of the small liberal arts college. And at times, things got heated. Uh, I'm at New, College. New College interim president Richard Corcoran appears to be in defense mode. I've never said we want to be the St. John's of the South, the Hillsdale of the South, the Williams of the South. Speaking more publicly about the state's takeover at the small liberal arts college in Sarasota. The new athletic uh, new students, the old students, all working together, all cheering on together. The culture could not be better. I'm standing over an architect. On Friday, he answered questions during a luncheon hosted by the Tampa Tiger Bay Club, a nonpartisan political group who focused much of their attention on what Corcoran says he wants for new college. All ideologies, all viewpoints, all thinkers. Versus what's happening there. Your anecdote about kindness flies in the face of the reality on the ground of what's happening at New College. Since Governor Ron DeSantis appointed six new conservative members to the school's board of trustees earlier this year, the publicly funded college has eliminated its diversity office, gender neutral bathrooms, and recently started abolishing its gender studies program. Students, people of color, LGBTQ people do not feel welcome. Corcoran fighting back. 100% of what you said is not based in fact. The exchange heating up for a moment. Would you like to answer the question, Mr. Corcoran, or is that it? There's no question. It was just a bunch of opinions that aren't based in fact. Everybody else, he knew what he wanted to say. Excuse me. Kelly Benjamin says he pierced Corcoran as a citizen concerned about the state's increasingly conservative education policies. He's a complete hypocrite when it comes to this woke indoctrination rhetoric, the fact that they're dictating what can be taught in the classroom, and democracy abolishing academic freedom in the state of Florida. While some seem to express support for parts of the state's new direction. I also agree with your approach to the business part. Others, including this mom whose son recently transferred out of New College, admits she came skeptical. I wanted to see how many lies he was going to tell, to be quite honest with you. We need to be more kind. And left that way. It's a continuation of Richard Corcoran doing political whitewashing of this is the, everything's great, everything's fine. When, that's just not true. And Richard Corcoran is also vying for the permanent slot as president of New College. He's one of three finalists. I'm Katie Legrone reporting.